When you record your footage with high resolution, and it takes tons of time to edit them, then upload your final video on YouTube. But when you watch the preview on YouTube with high resolution, then you notice it looks so pixelated, blurry and noisy. But no worries, there are some tricks to fix it. There are four ways to fix the YouTube compression. How to record, edit, export, and upload. But you need to know, what exactly YouTube does to your videos once you upload them. When you upload a large format video on YouTube, YouTube will immediately begin transcoding your video into the various different resolutions. Automatically enable the VP9 codec for improved viewing experience. YouTube applies its own compression to videos for quality, playability and storage reasons. Always keep your subject as bright as possible, but avoid overexposing. Because bright footage contains more information and details, which helps to reduce the visibility of color banding. Color banding is often a result of limitations in color depth. So bright footage always provide more color data, for YouTube's compression algorithms to work with. And doesn't matter which camera you are using, always try to use the highest possible resolution and bit rate. But if you like to shoot with darker setup, let's see how to solve it with editing. In the editing part, there are two things you should do. First, try to edit your videos in 24 to 30 FPS for the highest quality motion blur. Inside the Premiere Pro, click Ctrl plus N to open the new sequence, then click on Settings, and select the time base 24 to 30 FPS. And second, add a little noise film grain to reduce the color blanding. If you have a lot of static shots, like talking head videos, so that grain will keep movement around the frame and YouTube's compression will tend to give less data to these areas. To add this noise, go to the Effects tab and search for Noise HLS Auto. Apply this effect to the video layer. Then go to the Effect Controls, and set the noise as grain. Increase the brightness a little bit, and minimize the grain size 0.5, so that it's not understood in the normal view. Now zoom the project window to see what's happened. As you can see, noise reduced the color blending from the darker part, but in this case, I always love to use a plugin is called Dehancer Pro. Dehancer Pro is an amazing plugin for Filmmaker. There are some amazing effects inside this plugin. Click on the Film Grain drop-down icon, and enable it. Let's zoom in the program window to see the preview perfectly. Here you can see, there is too much grain. So, change the grain amount to 5%. Then change the film type to positive. Now see that it reduces the color blending perfectly and it looks much better than the Noise HLS Auto. You will find the plugin link in the description below. And you can use my special coupon code to get 10% discount. You can make your videos more cinematic by using this plugin, go to the film, and here you'll get different types of color profiles for your video. Also, you can add the halation and bloom effect with the default settings. And if you want to edit videos with your phone, you can use CapCut to edit your videos. And this video is sponsored by CapCut. Let's see how to add the grain effect by using the CapCut. So, first open CapCut in your phone, create a new project, add your video to the timeline, then go to the Adjust. Inside Adjust, here is the grain option. Now increase the grain a little bit. And that's it. Before rendering, preview the final edited sequence. Because every time you edit and re-encode a video, there is a chance of quality loss. So click Ctrl plus M to open the export settings. From the format option select H.264. Then click on video, and here we are going to export it to 4K, and it doesn't matter what your video format. Change the frame size to custom, and set the resolution to 4K by your video's aspect ratio. Then click on more, enable the render at maximum depth, and use maximum render quality. Then move to the bitrate settings, Bitrate encoding always will be CBR. And here's main part, target bitrate. You can check out the YouTube recommendation bitrate under the description link. For the 4K videos recommended bitrate is 35 to 45 megabytes per second. But here we are going to make double, so that YouTube will get more space to compress less. Now click on the audio, select sample rate to 48,000 Hz. And select the maximum bitrate 320 kilobits per second. Then just click on export. Let's see, how to export with CapCut. In CapCut, 
Go to the export option, set the resolution to 4K, change the frame rate 25 to 30 FPS, and set the code rate to high. Then just export your video, so that's it. You can check out the cap cut in the description below. Before uploading your video on YouTube, preview it on different devices and platforms, to ensure it looks satisfactory. This way you can catch any potential issues, before they are compressed by YouTube's system. And the final trick is scheduling videos before publishing, that allows YouTube more time, to process higher quality levels, and improve visibility. So that's all for today, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next one, have a nice day.